Met Erin is on high alert for next week as significant snow is expected. According to forecasters, a severe snow event is possible mid next week due to a Siberian cold front moving in from the east. The weather will begin to turn cold from this weekend, temperatures dropping again on Wednesday. For the latest on the weather charts, I'm joined by Alan O'Reilly from Carlo Weather. Good morning to you, Alan. Um, my sources tell me that Met Erin is hosting a meeting with local authorities this morning to get them ready. Are they right to be on high alert? Well, certainly it's probably going to be the most, uh, I suppose, the coldest spell we've seen <clears> this <throat> winter. And we do see an increased risk of, of snow showers on Monday and especially on Tuesday. The uncertainty really is around that significant snow event that you mentioned on Wednesday into Thursday. And really and truly, it's very difficult to call that at the moment. We have basically very cold air arriving from the east. The temperatures will start to drop back really from tonight. And then by Sunday, we're going to have a wind chill that's going to make it feel bitterly cold with really cold days, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. However, we then have some low system storms trying to push in from the southwest against that cold air. And it's where that happens and what happens there exactly. Now, the weather models are still not in agreement on that. The the main weather models show a different scenarios. And one of those scenarios is certainly a very significant snow event. But some of the other scenarios show snow before turning to rain quite quickly on Thursday and temperatures rising again. So it's a very tricky one to call. Mm. It is. It is certainly going to be cold, Shane. That's that's the thing. There's no doubt about how cold it's going to get. You're looking at very hard frost from Sunday night right through till Thursday. And that wind chill is going to make it feel well below what it would normally feel like. So you're talking about a wind chill of minus six, minus seven degrees by Monday morning. Um, and then the winds are going to blow in snow showers on Tuesday. Primarily, well, on Monday as well, but on Tuesday they'll come a bit further inland and those snow showers in, the, in their own right could cause some issues. So it is certainly going to turn cold. There is a risk of snow, but the uncertainty from Wednesday to Thursday makes it very tricky. And when we hear Met Aaron say a significant snow event is possible, what's the potential there? Yeah, so the potential there, I suppose, will be in some ways similar to what we saw with Storm Emma, where you have a low system that comes and meets the, the cold air and then stalls and you end up with high accumulations of snow, um, snow drifts and, and very heavy snow right extending into many areas. So that, that would be something similar. I, I wouldn't compare what we're seeing going to see in the next couple of days exactly to 2018. It's not quite as cold. Um, it's not as severe as what we've seen. But there is the potential, depending on where that low pressure meets it, that you could see some very heavy falls of snow, even if it is for a short term. Like if, if we see, for example, that the snow does fall and then turn to rain on, on higher ground, obviously it will be slower. So it could vary a lot from location to location. You could see rain in kind of coastal counties of, of uh, Kerry and Cork and then further north, it could stay as snow for longer. But there is that risk of significant snow events still. I think the risk is probably has eased a little bit overnight in the weather models. But really and truly trying to forecast this this far out yet is very tricky. And of course, it only really snows in Ireland if it snows in Dublin, because that's when people say that they <laughs> kind of hear about it. This would be a snow event if it did happen that could affect the whole country, could it? Yeah, it certainly could. Um, if, if you had the, the right conditions in terms of the low pressure system, it could affect most of the country. The, the West would be, would, be, would be kind of the lowest risk, but it could extend to all areas. But Dublin and Kildare and, and maybe Loud, uh, Leinster, especially North Leinster, is in the firing line of those snow showers on Monday and Tuesday. So you do need to keep an eye out for those snow showers. It's very hard to predict where exactly they hit and how heavy they are. But if we did see snow streamers coming in off the Irish Sea, it's similar to lake effect snow in Canada. We could see some heavy snow showers coming into the east. So Dublin could well see some heavy snow for a time on and off Monday and Tuesday. OK, um, right. We, we'll see what happens. Of course, Alan, what we don't want to do here is scare people either. And particularly those, because there's a lot of people who are living alone, living remotely because of other things like COVID too. The last thing you want to do is scaremonger. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have a lot of people isolating, maybe living alone that would normally have re re regular visitors that are not really seeing anybody at the moment. And they might live in, in you know, quite areas that have small roads that don't get gritted. So you don't want to put people into kind of a frenzy mode. So the main thing really is make sure you have enough heat and, and kind of fuel source 
for at least four to five days. But I wouldn't be panicking just yet about any major snowstorm. Keep an eye on the forecast and just make sure you can stay warm over the coming days.